Today, I'm going to explain the movie American Mary, released in the year 2013. The movie starts as we are introduced to Mary Mason, a medical student in Seattle. Dr. Grant, one of her professors, often expresses his confidence in her, saying she is the most promising student in his class. As she moved from Hungary for medical school, Mary doesn't have a proper job to support herself and often struggles to make ends meet. Knowing this, her grandmother, who she calls Nana, offers to send her money to help her get by, but Mary refuses to take it, assuring her that she will find a way to get by on her own. While looking for a job, she comes across a post from a strip club and decides to try her luck. Being selected for an interview, she arrives at the club and meets the owner, Billy Barker. However, the interview is interrupted as Billy is informed of a mishap with one of his crew and rushes off to see him. As Mary told him that she is a medical student specializing in surgery, he offers her $5,000 to treat his friend as long as no questions are asked. As she is in desperate need of money to survive, Mary agrees to treat the man who clearly has been injured during some sort of illegal activity. Mary treats him in the basement of the club, after which she gets her money and returns to the apartment exhausted. Despite the good fortune and quick cash, Mary is nervous to have found herself in the middle of an illegal operation. The next morning, Mary receives a call from a girl named Beatrice, but drops the call after suspecting this woman might be linked to the man she treated illegally. Sometime later, Beatrice barges into her apartment and tells her that she works at Billy's club and has read her resume. After telling Mary about her body modifications to look like Betty Boob, she requests her help in performing a similar procedure on her friend. Seeing Mary is hesitant, she offers her $10,000 for the operation and some extra money even if she just agrees to meet her friend once. Mary accepts the proposal due to her financial issues and agrees to visit a vet clinic where she wants to perform the surgery. After her brief meeting with Beatrice, Mary receives a call from Dr. Grant who is upset with her for not showing up to his classes, but she assures him she won't miss another one. The next day, Mary arrives at the vet clinic to find Beatrice and her cousin Tressa, who doesn't seem okay with their plan. Beatrice gives her the money she was promised and sends her to meet her friend Ruby. Ruby introduces herself as a fashion designer and tells Mary that she wants to be transformed into a human doll and just needs some of her female body parts removed to complete the look. Mary agrees to perform the surgery and learns that Ruby has already undergone multiple operations before. After successfully completing the operation, she gives Beatrice all the necessary care instructions for Ruby and leaves, asking them not to share her contact details with anyone else. Moving on from her little adventure, Mary joins a resident program at a hospital with Dr. Walsh. He is continually impressed by her professionalism and expresses his confidence that she will become an outstanding surgeon. One day, Beatrice shows up outside the hospital and hands over a gift as a thank you from Ruby. Although Mary accepts the gift, she politely reminds her of her promise to not contact her again. Dr. Grant spots Mary talking to Beatrice and thinks they must be doing the same job, but doesn't say anything to Mary. Returning to the hospital, Dr. Walsh invites Mary to a party at Dr. Grant's apartment. She accepts the invitation, thinking it might be a great networking opportunity for her. Returning to her apartment, Mary checks Ruby's new pictures to follow up, but the post leads her to a body modification website where she is shocked to see how far people have gone with their body modifications. She later joins the party, but is a little surprised to find she is the only junior doctor in attendance. As she sips a drink Dr. Walsh gave her, Dr. Grant admires her dress and insinuated that she must be making good money to be able to afford it. He suspects she is a stripper like Beatrice, but Mary begins feeling dizzy and cannot understand him anymore. We then realize that Dr. Walsh must have slipped something in her drink. While other surgeons get busy with escorts, Dr. Grant takes Mary to her room and films himself raping her. Waking up traumatized by what happened the night before, Mary returns to her apartment and quits the residence. Later, she decides to get revenge and hires Billy to kidnap Dr. Grant. She locks him in her apartment and tortures him, using his body as practice to perfect her body modification expertise. 
Using pictures she took of him as her portfolio, she gets into the body modification field and starts performing surgeries in the basement of Billy's club. One day, Mary is approached by Detective Dollar, who says he is investigating Dr. Alan Grant's disappearance and reveals he was involved in questionable sexual activities. Dollar informs Mary that she was on a list of the names Dr. Walsh provided of women who might have a grudge against Dr. Grant. She plays it cool, telling the detective that Dr. Grant was a tough teacher, but she never has any bad feelings for him. With time, Billy develops a soft spot for Mary and thinks of her often as she regularly visits the club. The next time she arrives, she confides in him that Beatrice keeps on bothering her by inviting her over for coffee and she wants to get rid of her. Billy refuses to help her, saying he can't torture people without a reason. Mary also informs him about Detective Dollar's investigation and shares her concern about Dr. Walsh because she doesn't know how much he knows about what happened at the party. Billy offers to handle him, but Mary refuses his help. She eventually goes over to Beatrice's apartment where she finds Ruby's photos with a man who Beatrice says is her husband. She also tells her about the body modification website and a magazine with similar content and reveals that many people want her services after seeing Ruby's successful surgery. On Beatrice's suggestion, two twin sisters who run the website visit Mary in the club. They tell Mary she is quite popular in the community due to her skills and is known as Bloody Mary because no one has revealed her true identity. After suggesting Mary should create her own website to showcase her work, one of the twins tells her they want to feel more connected to each other and have come up with an idea. They ask Mary to remove their left arms and switch them with each other so they can be together forever. Mary agrees to do it. After the twins leave, Mary shows the diagram to Billy and informs him it's an extensive procedure and she will require someone's help. He agrees to arrange another doctor to assist her. They successfully perform the surgery exactly as shown in their given picture. Later, Mary arrives at an abandoned building where she has kept a badly wounded Dr. Grant as she has amputated most of his limbs. She takes some pictures while telling him she needs them for her website also adding that her work is getting stronger over time. She teases him and intends to remove something else, but suddenly, a security guard knocks her out and releases Dr. Grant. He intends to call the police, but Mary gets up and beats him to death before killing Dr. Grant too. Meanwhile, Ruby's husband is angry at finding out that she got a surgery without asking him first. Back in Seattle, Mary returns to the club, exhausted after killing two people. Seeing her upset, Billy's assistant, Lanx, who shares a close bond with her, supports her, saying that some people deserve to be treated this way. He advises her not to devalue what she does and not think about people when she is finished with them. She thanks him for cheering him up and returns to her apartment where she has kept the twins after their surgery. After recovering, the twins pay Mary a huge amount of money, which she decides to use to move to a better place. She sets up her own clinic at her new apartment and advertises the work through her website. While treating a guy at her new clinic, she receives a call from Detective Dollar, who asks to meet with her. She quickly sends the patient away and seals off the clinic area before meeting the detective. Detective Dollar asks about the patient, but Mary introduces him as her boyfriend and then asks if they have yet found Dr. Grant. He reveals they haven't made much progress in the case and now Dr. Walsh is missing as well. He tells Mary that Grant and Walsh were involved in arranging sex parties where they used to record themselves abusing girls. As he questions Mary about the party she attended, she becomes worried, thinking he might have seen her tape of the rape. Meanwhile, Billy, who has kidnapped Dr. Walsh, recovers her tape from his computer. At Mary's apartment, Dollar says that Dr. Grant was a monster who assaulted multiple girls and asks if he ever hurt her as well. Seeing her upset, he suspects she is one of the victims and assures his support while asking her to cooperate, but Mary doesn't share anything. After he leaves, Mary receives a call informing her that her Nana passed away. This news causes Mary to unravel. When she goes to visit Billy in the club, she is shocked to see him with another girl. 
She confronts him for abducting Dr. Walsh, and he confesses to doing it on her behalf. Jealous of Billy's new girl, Mary decides to torture her with her surgical tools in the bathroom, but changes her mind after spotting a security camera. Later, she tells her she has no hard feelings, but just gets caught up in the moment and then leaves without saying anything else. Billy becomes a little scared of Mary and worries she might hurt him as well, since he has seen her grow more brutal with time. In their next meeting, Mary senses Billy's fear of her, but won't admit it. He tries to talk to her normally and informs her that Beatrice has quit her job without any notice and is not answering calls. He also shares his plan to go to LA and invites her to join as well. Mary, fed up with her current situation, agrees to join the trip, saying she also needs a break from her life. Back at her apartment, Mary receives a call from Beatrice who warns her that Ruby's husband had severely beaten Mary's information out of her. But before Mary can prepare, he barges into her apartment and stabs her in the stomach. But Mary manages to fatally bite him in the process. She crawls to her secret room in an attempt to suture her own wound, but bleeds to death in the process. In the end, the police arrive at her apartment where they discover Grant's pictures and Mary's dead body. That was all from the video. Subscribe for more content like this and leave a link to help the channel out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Take care.